Good morning, all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to the Hewitt Homestead. It is a beautiful day out here. We are going to put it to work. Today is just one of those days, you guys, where you've got about a thousand little nitpicky things here and there that you've been putting off that you don't want to do. Because every one of those little things in and of itself is, doesn't seem that important. But man, when you add them all up, it, 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 well, it just makes for one big full day. And it's going to make a big difference around here. So we're going to get busy doing that today. Checking on our chicken situation today. The kids have been doing a pretty good job of keeping up with these chickens. They've been doing the feed in the water every day. Food looks good. There's still water. They obviously didn't fill it up today, but I brought some water to take care of that with. The chickens themselves, as you notice, are not here. They are still small enough to squeeze through this fence and go on about their merry way. Which doesn't bother me too much, but I mean, I get a little, I got a little worried about their safety. But they are just, you know, doing the whole free range thing for real, for real, which is kind of what I want from my chickens. But I also want them, you know, stay alive and not to get eaten. Well, <laughs> at least not before I eat them. <laughs> ah, these chickens are, these are egg chickens. And hopefully they'll live a nice, long, healthy life. Laying eggs. For the family, it's gonna be good. Omelets and boiled eggs and eggs Benedict and all those other eggy things. We have been getting good rain almost every day. So I haven't worried about water in the garden. Of course, you know my schedule. I'm out here every day at one o'clock, two o'clock, the hottest time of the day. Everything's looking all wilty. Of course, it pops back and looks better in the morning and or the evenings. I'm seeing a lot of good squash in there. Several of my tomatoes are looking pretty good. Finally getting some size on them and others not so much. The sweet potato vine has lots of good uh, growth on it. I would like to lay eyes on those chickens before I go on about my merry day and just assume everything's okay. Not that I can really change anything if they have been attacked, but just for my own curiosity. Guys, how we doing? There you are. Is everybody here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wonderful. Y'all don't blame them. It's hot. It's a good 95, 96 today. All right, so I am going to get busy doing what I need to do today. And that is... You get a lot of this stuff cleaned up. Gonna gather everything up, gonna make a big pile in the front, and then I'm gonna sort and get everything going where it's supposed to go. crawling on my shoes and my legs and eating me up and I didn't even do nothing to them I didn't disturb their home they're just being mean oh so hot so hot Ow. oh lord Jesus it's fire well that was a little ridiculous I probably just spent half an hour collecting all this garbage well it's not garbage it's tools and stuff as well just stuff that was left around the house due to my procrastination. I gotta get better at that. Now, where am I going? I wanna cut the grass. The mower's over there. Let's do this.
And I'll tell you why. Because I am a victim of my own booby trap. This is what happens when you don't clean up after yourself on a daily basis. You forget where you leave stuff. And then you run over it with your lawnmower three weeks later. Nothing too crazy. Just a little bit of a light gauge wire. This was the wire that was used to hold the, um, the uh, quarter inch mesh together. It is thankfully very, very flimsy. You can almost just pop it when you tug on it. Hopefully this won't keep us down too long when you get back at it because daddy's got a lot of grass to cut. Yes sir. You know guys, I really do love cutting the grass and I'm gonna tell you why. Because when I'm cutting the grass, I get to kind of gel out in my own head and just think about things. And uh, one of the things I like to think about is how much I've been blessed. When I look at this property, I'm looking out in the backyard <clears throat> and I'm gazing out over that big, beautiful river, the mighty St. John's. I just, uh, I just, you know, just tends to get me right in the feelers, you know what I mean? And I'm very grateful for what I have. I'm also aware of the fact that the attitude of gratitude, the the feeling of thankfulness, reminiscing and meditating on thankfulness is uh, one of the most powerful things that a human being can do for their own mental health. And with today's crazy world the way it is, with so much going on, so many people suffering from so much mental health issues, depression, anxiety, just frustration, veterans, PTSD, Taking time out of your day to intentionally say thank you to God, powerful guys. Let me encourage you to give it a shot. You know, on those days, I was just telling my wife a couple days ago, we were having a similar conversation. And because uh, there's some days where she's just a little overwhelmed, and so I feel, well, me too, for all that matter. You just get so much on your plate you just don't know where to start it's just you have no energy or motivation to get going man just stop what you're doing sit down look out the window try to find something pretty some nature or something maybe pictures of your family you know the family members that you like the ones that you are really thankful for everybody's got we we all got those family members you know, we could just do without me. I like to be thankful for my kids and my wife. This beautiful property. The beautiful river. Whoop, here we go. I knew that was going to happen sooner or later. But I also like to be thankful for you guys. This YouTube channel and my friends and community that I'm making with you guys. I guess I should put it in gear. That would probably help. Take deuce. I really am super thankful for all you guys. I really do appreciate it. When you take the time to leave a comment, hit that thumbs up. Not only does it help me, it does. It helps me with the YouTube and the algorithms and trying to grow the channel. I just always want to take every opportunity I got. Sometimes I forget. But you guys are a huge blessing in my life. And I appreciate you. Let me get all my trash so I don't run over it again. Because that would be very, very ignorant. Going down Bay Trail. And my other reason for happiness just pulled back in the driveway.
guys. Rain's coming. Got to get going. Got to get a shower. Got to go to work. Got a couple of two, two and a half hours of work in today. And, uh, you know, that's all it takes, guys. Do a little bit every day. Wherever you are, whatever you're up to, I pray God blesses you. And I pray that you find enjoying what you're doing. You know, what you're doing is making a difference. Maybe it's just for you. Maybe it's for those around you, your family, your friends. Make a difference. All right, guys. We love you. We appreciate you watching these videos and being here, being part of our community. Say hi. Give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. Subscribe if you haven't. It's all good. It's all free. And uh, we're going to see you again real soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.